Hey Virgos, hope you're good. This is your overall monthly reading for May 2019. This is a general reading and will not resonate with you all. So if this does not resonate with you, please check your moon, rising or Venus. Alright Virgos, so let's see, what do we have for Virgos for the month of May? You can always fast forward this shuffling part. Oops, this chant. So I want to take this. Virgos, why is it that cards jump for you? Irrespective of your love, here you go. Your love reading, your general reading, your weekly reading, whenever I'm reading Virgos, the cards just simply fly. Is it because you talk less? So you're blocking communication? Alright, let's see. In your present situation, Queen of Cups. Okay. Hangman is your problem. Okay. How you feel in this situation, your attitude. Eight of Swords. In your past, judgment. Okay. And, all right, what do you want to be? Four of Cups. You want to let go of everything. What is it? In your future, Two of Wands. All right. What do you fear about this? Two of Pentacles. Interesting. Huh. How do people perceive you? Eight of Cups. Why so much of letting go, Virgo? What do you hope for? Six of Pentacles. Okay, I get it now. I think I'm getting it. And what is going to be the overall outcome of the situation is death. Had to be. Is death. When you're letting go of everything, the only logical thing that can happen to you is death. And why is all that? Underlying energy. King of Swords. Okay. So Virgos. Let's. Very, very interesting. So. King of Swords. Though it's an air energy, but it's very much like a Virgo. Because this king... Energy means the ability to handle all types of information and then analyze them like any Virgo would. Analyzing the problem, finding the brilliant solution and then, you know, following that. So that is the King of Swords. So this means, this is a person who uses knowledge, understanding, and common sense to solve complex problems. Okay, very clear in the mind, very clear in the thoughts. Okay, so, all right, let's start. Virgos, in your present, I see you as the Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups is a person who has seen extreme emotions of people, who have seen highs and lows of emotions, who has seen the worst and the best in people, who, has, who is empathetic, who understands and cares about others' needs, sometimes to such an extent that forgets to pay attention to their own needs. Alright, that's the Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups is about emotional maturity but a motherly, nourishing love and empathy. So this has, you know, you are so empathetic towards everybody that you have an open heart. So anybody and everybody walks up to you with their soft story and you like a mother will try to solve it for them, do it for them. You know, so you're stretching yourself. 
because you are trying to give help, comfort, encourage, or you're trying to inspire people. So you're there. You're there emotionally for people around you. You know? What is creating problem or obstacle in this is the hangman. That is your perspective. Maybe you're not seeing or paying attention or you're not seeing the other side of the story. It's like, you know, somebody comes up to you and, you know, is crying for help. You being the Queen of Cups, you're helping that person. But you're not seeing that while helping that person, you are digging your own grave. Or it could also mean that you feel stuck. Because you have become the sponge now. So everybody and anybody with any problem is simply coming towards you because you listen and you empathize with them. And because of that, you're draining yourself and you feel stuck. That is your objection. That is your problem in this situation. You don't mind helping people, but that's taking so much of your space. That is taking so much of your space that you are not able to look into anything else. You feel stuck. And your attitude towards it is again a stuck card. Eight of Swords. You're stuck in your mind. You feel that if you do not do it for them right now, who's going to do it? If you do not take care, who's going to take care? But Virgos, understand, everybody lives their own life, all right? That is how human life is. That is what we call the law of attraction. You manifest your life with your thoughts. If somebody is going through some pain, it's good to empathize, but you cannot be the person responsible for it. If somebody is feeling uncomfortable because you're paying, you know, you have to be busy with your work, that is okay. You don't have to stop your work and feel stuck because that is what you are doing. You're feeling stuck. You know, you're feeling stuck because you took on these burdens. You took on these responsibilities. Things were going a different way maybe. You stepped in and said, all right, I'm there. I'll take care. You don't worry. It's my responsibility and wham, it has become your responsibility now. So you feel stuck. Even if now you know things are much better, you can continue with your life. You cannot. In the past, I see judgment. You had some profound moments. You realized a few things. You had a awakening. You had a resurrection. Maybe you realize that certain people or certain areas of your life needed to be prioritized whereas others needed to be let go of. Or maybe you have this profound thought or awakening that what you're doing is wrong so you need to restart again. Or maybe you have this awakening that, uh, you know, you got the second chance actually. Whatever happened with you, everything came to a completion and you started fresh. So this could be in your past. But what you want is, Virgo, you want to leave all this. Whatever you walked out from and walked into, you're both, you're dissatisfied with both. Okay, not that you decided to walk out of somebody or from something or from someone and decided to walk towards somebody or something, pay more attention to something else, but yet you feel stuck. 
yet you feel dissatisfied because that is missing that cup is missing you're still not seeing it it's there it's there Virgo you just have to see it look up and see but you are seeing whatever decisions you took in the past and those didn't work for you and now you're dissatisfied you're simply bored so how you see yourself or what you want to be is I see you want to let go you want to let go of this you want to let go of the ones which you left earlier you want to let go of everything nothing interests you anymore if you are a person who loves traveling travel doesn't interest you anymore if you are the person who loved eating food doesn't interest you anymore if you are a person who loved working even work doesn't interest you anymore you're just doing it because pentacles matter you're losing interest and that is what you want you want to let go of everything and start with something because you have some clear thoughts in your mind you have some clarity in your mind now you're very clear on what you want and you want to take you want to proceed towards that and for that you have to leave behind all this because even in your present situation I see you are drained in your past maybe you were drained or you took a decision whatever was making you keeping you happy in the past you suddenly felt no you were doing it wrong you need to pay attention more attention to these and you stop them and you pay, started paying attention here but that made you more stuck and now what you want to be is you want to let go of whatever there it is there in the present what is coming in the future is a crossroad now this is interesting what is coming in your future is a crossroad all right you have to decide what is it that you want what is it you have the world in your hand but which wand will you choose maybe you are deciding between two careers two places two people you are in a crossroad or between a career and a person whatever it is you are at a crossroad or it is going to come to you at the by the end of this month you're going to be at a crossroad you have to decide which way is my way which one do I follow which passion of mine do I follow but what you're fearing is will I be able to balance it if I keep my current situation maybe you have a family and you have a new job which with the world in the hand it could mean <coughs> away from them so you're wondering if you'll be able to balance it because you have been the queen of cups you've been for them for everything even if your spouse or your partner had a headache you were there even to get things from the grocers you were there you were the man or you were the woman who always gave and that's how they see you and they're so habituated to that so you feel stuck you're not able to move forward so now comes your opportunity because once you let go of all that maybe in your job too it was you who was doing everything because you took them on you took those responsibilities on you and now everybody is so habituated that Virgo will do it but Virgo wants to just leave everything not interested anymore not satisfied anymore Virgo wants has clear understanding now what they want and that is definitely not this so Virgo comes to a crossroad wants to fa follow Virgo's passion could be a person could be a new job could be a new business could be a new location wants to go towards that but problem is balance will I be able to balance it will I be able to handle this keeping this situation will there be balance in that situation will there be you know will there be conflicts or will there be um, 
growth. That kind of fear, that is what you're fearing. You're fearing balance. You know which way you want to go now, but you're fearing balance. How people see you or outsiders see you as a lever who has left everything, maybe gone on its own journey, gone with your own life. Maybe people even say, not like an escapist, not a person who runs away, you're not escaping, but a person who leaves, simply leaves, leaves and goes towards his or her own pursuits. Somebody who would just walk away. If something is not serving them, or they have started walking away towards their, they're walking their own journey now. You know, that is how people perceive you. Maybe your family sees you as somebody who has walked away from whatever was being offered, whatever was there, towards the unknown, towards being alone. Maybe your colleagues see you as you had so much. You had a stable job, salary, everything, but you decided to put your resignation and walk away. So people perceive you as somebody who has left all these pleasures or comforts, moved out of your comfort zone. That is what people see you as. And they are confused that what are you walking towards? They are confused on that. They don't know why you are on this journey. Because everything is so settled. Everything is so in a framework. So why does Virgo need to travel? Why does Virgo need to leave? Why does, why does he or she need to go? But what you want or what you hope for is reciprocation, equality, balance, equal give and take. Maybe you want to give to two, not two people, but you want to give to two in the sense you want to do justice to your career as well as people. So your family was your priority, but that is where you got stuck. So now you want to move towards your career, pay more attention to it. And But you are fearing whether you will be able to balance your family and because there's maybe this career demands you to travel. So you are contemplating that, but all you want is equality, equal give and take. It's like, okay, if I'm spending half a day with family and personal issues, I'll spend half a day on work. If it's six months in my work location, six months it'll be back home. If I'm doing a business and a job, then it has to be equal. I'll pay equal attention to both. I'll not neglect one for the other. This could mean that. That is what you hope for. You don't want to neglect anybody. You want to give equally to everybody. But you are getting bored. You are at a crossroad. What is coming towards you? Overall result of this. You being stuck. You feeling stuck. You getting dissatisfied. You choosing a new way. People seeing you as walking away is death. Transformation. You are transforming Virgo. That is why. You are transforming. There are a lot of changes happening inside you. Things that interested you in the past don't interest you anymore. Things that bothered you in the past, they don't bother you anymore. Things that you feared in the past, you don't fear them anymore. That is because you are going through transformation, Scorpio energy. That is coming towards you. What happens after the transformation? What happens after the transformation? I'll just clarify. What happens after the transformation? Show me more. Ten of Pentacles, abundance. Only when you transform, you are going to get your abundance. Pentacles, material. So yeah, I think in the past you have been avoiding or not paying attention to your career much. It was more about people, emotion, feeling happy, feeling connected, having an active social life. 
but you realize all that is making you stuck. You are getting stuck at one place and people are moving with their own lives. You are the one who is still waiting because, you know, they depend on you. So now you are dissatisfied. Now you want to pursue your passion. You want those, you want to balance those pentacles because you want to be the giver. So here comes transformation and after the transformation comes your abundance. Ten of pentacles. Beautiful. Yeah, five of cups. You, you are missing this. You are missing this. Ten of pentacles. You are missing this ten of pentacles. You are missing money. There are financial issues. You are missing it. You long for it. You want it. So after death, you are going to work towards it. You are going to decide on that. What else? Six of Pentacles again. Again, the Six of Pentacles. So that means it's very clear. You want to earn now because you miss this Pentacle in your life. You know? You miss this Pentacles. You miss this wealth in your life. And that is important to you right now. Because you, with the King or Queen of Cups, you are a giver, you are a nurturer. But you know, you cannot give or nurture with an empty pocket. So you need to pay attention, follow your dreams. And once you do that, you will be in a position because you hope to be the giver, the equal giver. Who can give equally, who can take responsibility, equal responsibility of everybody. But for that, you need abundance. And that is what is coming towards you but only after transformation, not before that. You're going through transformation, Virgo. What does Virgo want to leave? Why does Virgo wants, want to leave everything? What happened in the past? Why does Virgo want to leave everything? What happened in the past? What happened in the past? Why does Virgo want to leave everything? The Emperor, okay, you wanted power. After this judgment, you wanted authority, you wanted power. And the world, things changed. Judgment, right after judgment comes the world. Things change for you. You became the person who had that vision to build something, to create something, to make that name, to manage everything. And so after judgment, that epiphany, that aha moment, that profound knowledge, your entire world changed. Maybe you changed the way you live, the way you li live your life. Everything changed. You are no longer the old self. You are no longer the old self. Alright, so I see transformation. Tell me more. What else does Virgo need to know? What else does Virgo need to know about this transformation? What else does Virgo need to know about this transformation? Again, a flipper. Here you go. Okay, I'll take this. The magician. This is your energy too. Virgo, Aries, Gemini energy, the magician. Okay, so now after the transformation, you want to manifest what you want and not what others want. You want to manifest things for you. Okay, beautiful Virgo. So I see a lot of transformation, I see a lot of changes in you. You are going to, you are changing your life by 360 degrees. You are going complete flip and you are becoming what you want to become. Rich, abundant, taking care of people, paying equal attention to your career, not only focused on people and relations and emotions but also your career. Pentacles are important. So you are learning the art of balancing. You're learning the art of balancing and so hence you are transforming because your entire world has changed. And once you transform, you become the magician. You start manifesting what you want. 
you start manifesting your ten of pentacles. All right, Virgo, that's that's very interesting and that's very nice. So I'm going to leave it here and pull oracle advices for you. What should Virgo do for the month of May? What should Virgo do while it's going through its changes, transformations? So please, please guide me. What should Virgo do during these transformations? Let's see. It's not an emergency. Don't feel so worked up. It's not an emergency. Even if it's just a transformation, even if things go slow, things don't move in your direction, it's okay. Relax. You're just transforming. And what was the next one? You're not afraid. Yes, you are not. You're not. You have to face new challenges because you're trying to manifest something different and you're going through transformation. But this Ten of Pentacles will not be an easy road. It will just not come wham and fall on your lap. You have to work out for it. So, <coughs> it's not an emergency, nothing to be so scared about it. But at the same time, you are anyways not scared because you have all the information in your mind and you are, have analyzed them. And now it's the time for you to implement them. Tell me more about Virgo. Angels, what guidance do you have for Virgo? What should Virgo do? What should Virgo do? What is your guidance towards Virgo? Learning experience, yeah. Your transformation is nothing but a learning experience. All this pain that you went through, all this dissatisfaction that you went through, they are nothing but they are your learning experience. So that's what your guardian angels are saying. And practice makes you perfect. How beautiful. So keep practicing what you're doing. Because you're learning the balancing act. You're learning to detach and let go. So keep practicing what you're doing. Because the more you practice, the more perfect you'll become gradually. It's a slow process. It doesn't happen overnight. All right? Let's see what's your life path for this month. Guide Virgo towards this life path. Spirits, please guide Virgo towards the life path for the month of May. What should Virgo do? What should Virgo do? Study. Reading, research, education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. So if you are embarking on a new journey, study well. While you are going through the transformation, as your oracles say too, practice makes you perfect. So don't fret, don't get scared if you make mistakes initially. Because you will, you are at a crossroad, you will walk a new way. Things have changed for you. You are no longer the same old Virgo. But to, for that perfection, maybe you need to research a bit more, study a bit more, understand a bit more. So that is why spirits are telling you that do some reading, do some research, study, spend some time understanding the line or the career path that you have taken or taking or walking towards. All right, Virgo, that's all I have for you today and I wish you a wonderful month and hope you transform well. Please leave a comment if you resonated. i love to hear from you. Please connect with me on Discord or email for personal readings. Be positive, be abundant and I'll see you next time. Thank you.